My name's Ash and this is Deck. We're going to be breaking down for you a cast away off to land on the A bars today. Hopefully after watching this video you should be able to take your gymnast from never touching the bar all the way through to casting off the bar and landing safely. So one of the first things we need to do is get the gymnast down low on the floor using a parallel so they're not up high and they're not scared to practice the skills we need them to do. So we're going to get Deck to go into a nice front support. His shoulders are going to stay on top of his hands and his arms are going to be nice and straight. His head's going to be neutral, so he's going to be looking just in front of him, not too far up like this and not too far down, just in a nice neutral position there. You should see his shoulders are nice and round, so he's got a nice strong base through his arms and shoulders. His hips are open down the bottom, so we've got no pike like this. We've got open hips squeezing his bottom all the way through to his toes so when his heel drive starts lifting up in his cast we've got that lovely straight line so once we've got the gymnast to understand a nice front support shape with their rounded shoulders open hips legs nice and straight it's important then to start getting the gymnast to feel what it's like to move their shoulders in front of their hands on the bar when they're up high so what we can do is get the gymnast in front support with their legs apart slightly as a coach you can grab their legs and slowly just lean his shoulders in front of his wrists and bring them back we can repeat this over a few times just so the gymnast gets the understanding of moving their shoulders forwards getting ready for their cast to handstand so once we've got the gymnast doing a nice front support on the floor we can get them to raise their feet up onto a platform behind them making sure they still have the same shapes their arms are nice and straight their heads in a nice neutral position backs nice and round and strong here hips are open the whole time bottom squeezed all the way through to their toes so that we can see a nice straight line in front support. It's what we need to be looking for when they're in their cast. So once you've done plenty of front support work down on the low bars, it will then be time to bring your gymnast onto a block. What you need to do is lay their chest down on top of the block, but leave the bottom half of their body laying off the block. From here, we're gonna try and encourage the gymnast to drive their heels up behind them multiple times practicing how to squeeze their legs nice and tight and driving their heels over the top of their head. Once they've done this and we can move them up onto the bar and they'll start to understand the action of moving their heels up behind them into that front support shape that we were practicing earlier with the parallettes and the raised blocks. The next thing we need to look at for the gymnast is teaching them how to open their shoulders. So when they're doing their cast, they're gonna to need to know how to press the bar up above their head so they can get into that nice front support shape. So Dex gonna show us how we can practice this on the floor without much weight. We can hold a bar and parallel in a dish shape, lift the parallel up, sit up into a nice pike and lower themselves back down. We can get the gymnast to practice this multiple times, making sure that when they sit up, they press their shoulders open to their ears, practicing for when they go up onto the high bar. So before we get the gymnast to cast off the bar and land onto the mat, we need to make sure that they're safe and comfortable with jumping off a height and landing onto their feet. So what we can do is build up a simple station like this. We can have a nice block and a mat, ask our gymnast to perform their best straight jump off the block onto the mat and land nicely. Once they've completed this forwards, we can ask them to stand up onto the block. Now this one's a little bit more tricky. We're gonna ask the gymnast in a second to jump backwards and land on their feet. When they do this, it's gonna simulate what it feels like to cast off away from the bar, moving backwards and stopping and landing nicely. Very nice. Once they've done this a few times, they should be ready to do their cast and land off a height backwards off the bar. So once we've gone through the steps and stages on the floor, it's time to then bring the gymnast up on top of the bar. So what we're gonna do is get a nice block and crash mat so it's nice and safe. We're gonna ask the gymnast to hold his support shape for three seconds, one, two, three, and then come back onto the block. Once you've assessed them and they're strong enough to hold their support shape, we can then start looking at getting the gymnast to swing their legs backwards and forwards, getting ready for their cast. So we're gonna put the gymnast on the bar, ask them to just bring their feet forwards and backwards, doing tiny little swings, nothing too much, holding onto their hips the whole time, making them safe, and then ask them to come back to the block without doing anything too dangerous to start off with. So once we've got them on the bar doing their support, they understand how to move their feet backwards and forwards to generate a swing. It's then time to start supporting the gymnast in their cast to front support. So it's important to remember 
We're looking for the gymnasts to move their shoulders forwards at the start, keep their shoulders round so they're nice and strong, opening the hips, squeezing their bottom, and keeping their legs straight and toes straight the whole time. So I'm gonna show you how to support that now. You're gonna put one hand on the gymnast's shoulder, one hand on the gymnast's thigh, you're gonna lift, cast, hold them in that front support, and bring them back to the bar. We'll do that one more time. Big cast, and hold, and come back to the bar. The gymnast's gonna stand on the block, have a little bit of a rest, and then you can repeat the exercise again. So once you've supported the gymnast for a cast to front support multiple times and you're comfortable that they understand how to do this, we can then introduce a prep where we bring two blocks together, put the gymnast between the blocks in their support. They can do three swings, we go one, two, on three, cast their feet behind them and stand onto the blocks by themselves. Now this isn't dangerous, it should be nice and easy because we've got the blocks higher up and it lets the gymnasts practice and build confidence by themselves without a coach having to be there the whole time to spot or support the gymnast. So deck feet shows one more time, one, two, big cast, push into that nice front support shape on top of the bar. Okay, so now you've gone through all the steps and stages, it's time for the gymnast to have a go at a cast to front support and land by themselves. So to start off with, it's good to get up onto the bar and guide them into the right positions to their landing shape on the floor. So we'll do three casts. One, two, three, and help them land onto the floor. Then we can stand back, let them come up onto the bar. We can stand next to the gymnast, making sure they're safe. One, two, three and making sure they land nicely at the end. So three important things to remember when you're teaching a gymnast to cast the front support. Remember to teach them how to open their shoulders so they can press the bar away. Remember to get them nice and strong in that front support shape with their shoulders round and their hips open. And make sure you teach the gymnast how to drive their heels behind their head so they understand how to get that lift. If you focus on these three points and put the steps and stages all together, you should be able to take your gymnast from not being able to do it to all the way up on the bar, doing their cast to front support and landing on their feet safely.